So today we're going to take a look at the Solaire by Palomino and this model is a 258 RBSS. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this. Now we're going to step inside of this 258 RBSS. So as you walk into this unit, over on your right hand side you have a couple of cabinets right there. And then you have your entertainment center there with your television set. You've got two storage compartments on top. You have your fireplace below, a nice little compartment area below your television set. Then you have your kitchen area, so you have your refrigerator here. You have your stove, your countertop out there. Then you have your booth style dinette with storage underneath each sitting area. Then you have your theater style seating here. Very nice colors here, I love these colors. This one does come with curtains. I know I'm always talking about some curtains. Just gives it a little bit of extra style there. And here you have your 12 volt refrigerator, which is 10 cubic feet. And here I have already opened the doors. So you can take a look on the inside. You've got your freezer on top. And then you have your refrigerator area on the bottom. Now we can make this work but of course we'd have to probably run out to the store maybe a couple of times depending on how long our stay will be but this is a very nice refrigerator real quickly just to give you the price on this unit MSRP is $44,950 and the asking price is $32,657 and this unit does come with two AC units you've got one in the front and one here in the back and out here in this Texas heat it is doing a great job it's just been turned on not even an hour ago and it feels really good in here. Now in the kitchen area you have three drawers. So there you go, they're nice and deep, pretty spacious. They are not slow closing, as you can see. You've got some cabinets up on the top. So on this kitchen area right here, it does come with a backsplash. Now I really wish that they would have finished off the backsplash here up to the edge or at least put some trim on there to finish that off. Otherwise it looks unfinished somewhat but it does give it a nice look overall. And then you've got your stove here and it's got the three burners right here. The counter space is really nice and it does come with a stainless steel single basin sink. So under the sink you have some shelf spacing. The only thing I notice about this unit is that there is not really a place for your trash can to be hidden behind a cabinet. You can, however, put it over to the left of the sink in this small little area. I would prefer it being in a cabinet, but in this unit it does not have the option to do that. So now we're going into the bedroom and with this bedroom does come with a king size bed. Now keep in mind this is a smaller unit. I prefer a bigger bedroom, but given the size of this unit, it is a wider based model. So you do have a little bit of space to walk on both sides of the bed, a little bit of space up in the front. So considering how small this unit is, it does accommodate a king size bed and that's pretty rare. Now this unit does have the mirrors on the outside of the closet door. You have two, one on each side of the bed. You can hang some clothes in there. Overall, not a lot of wardrobe space. I do like the window up here in the front, so that would be the windshield of this unit. And I do like that, so if you wanna wake up or just lay there and you can open up those shades, you can look outside at night and take a look at the stars if possible. Coming up on the AC, this bedroom is pretty cold right now and it is about 105 degrees outside. It does a great job. And both of these ACs are fully ducted. Now under this bed you do have storage space. So it is pretty deep but it does give you some nice storage under here. Now this is a booth style dinette and it does have the storage under each sitting area and they do go pretty deep in there so if you do have a cat for example this would definitely be useful if you'd like to put a litter box down there just remove the door or close it and this is a sleeping area as well, maybe two small kids. So that does turn into a bed, so that does allow for more sleeping space. Okay, so now as I work my way to the back of this unit, we're gonna head towards the bathroom. 
Now you do come across two storage cabinets here. Now this storage area here is probably going to serve as your pantry space. Now here we're coming into the bathroom. So this is a nice big bathroom, especially for a travel trailer of this size. You have a lot of walking space in here. And this bathroom does have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Now here in the bathroom you have three drawers, nice and deep, so plenty of storage. Under the sink as well, you do have plenty of space under there. And you have your counter space here on both sides of the sink. A lot of nice space there. You have your medicine cabinet up here on the top. And then you have your linen space in there. So that goes pretty deep in there. I would say maybe, I would say about three feet deep in there. So plenty of storage in here. So in this shower space, you do have up to about maybe six feet, three inches to fit comfortably in here. This uses your tempered glass instead of a soft curtain. Now this is a big surprise. This is a giant storage area here in this bathroom. So probably about two feet deep, maybe about five feet wide. That is awesome. The size of this unit is very deceiving. It's got a lot of space in here. I really like the colors in this. They work very well together. You've got your beige and your taupe colors. And it does have a little style around the windows the way I prefer with the curtains. Overall, a very nice looking unit for the size that it is. A lot of storage, a lot of space. So one thing I do like about this unit is that the theater sitting is facing the television right straight on. It's never a comfortable feeling when you have to turn your neck or your head to the side to look at the television. So this is nice how it's facing it just straight forward. What's really nice about this unit is with the slide closed, you will still have full access to the bathroom as well as your refrigerator, but not your bedroom. But it is still nice you can have access to your fridge and the bathroom. And this unit has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,765 pounds. A cargo capacity of 1,146 pounds. And you definitely want a three quarter ton truck to pull this unit around. And this unit has all frameless windows and a front frameless windshield. The LED lighting right here, right below the window. Really nice colors. I really love this. I don't know if it's a taupe color, but it's, it's beautiful. This unit has dual propane cylinders and an electric front tongue jack. It also has electric stabilizers on this. Let's take a look at the front pass-through storage. Goes all the way straight through. Very nice and wide. And I really like these slam latches that it comes with. This unit comes with a nice long awning and we've got some outside speakers here and it does have the bracket for a television set so you can place this out here. And I really like this outside storage. It's really tall. You can keep brooms, mops, or any other long uh, item that you need to put in here. And it does have an electrical outlet on here. Real quickly, it does have dual axles. And this unit does come equipped with the LCI solid steps. This unit does come with an outside kitchen. And it does have an induction stove top right there. You've got your refrigerator here as well, so that's nice right there. That'll hold some drinks in there for you. And then you can, it comes with a drawer right here for any utensils or other items you may need. It does have a sink here as well, that's very handy, and a couple of cabinets up on the top, along with an outlet. So I hope you like this review, and I really hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel that will make me make some more videos for you and more interesting videos will be coming your way soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.